Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 14 home screen widgets that you can get on your device in December 2020. Starting things off with Google Photos. Now Google has been going hard on updating their apps to support iOS 14 home screen widgets and Google Photos is one of the latest Google apps to do that. You can see here on the home screen we have two different widgets from Google Photos. We have the medium one and the smaller one and you can see right here it shows you your today's photo so we have two different photos right there so it will create like different colleges of photo and show them right here on the home screen widgets by 3d touching on it you won't get any option to change this this will be done all automatic so you can have the smaller the medium and also the 4x4 the bigger widget Next up we have Google Drive. Now Google Drive is another app from Google that has been recently updated to support iOS 14 home screen widgets. What we have here is only one widget. With Google Drive you don't get the option for the smaller or the biggest widget, you will only get the medium one which has three different actions. Now once you add it to the home screen, you can go ahead tap right there to go to your most recent file. You can go ahead and tap here to quickly upload a new photo or you can go ahead and tap right there to search your drive. So this is the only widget supported by this app. So the two by four is the only widget for Google Drive. Next up is binary clock. Now this one is really interesting and it looks pretty good. It is really, really clean. Now what you can see here is the current time, but it will show you with these like dots, the current time, which is really cool. So you can see 1144 there. So you will have all the different widgets to install here. We'll have the smaller, the medium and the bigger one. Now if you tap here and go to the app, you will have here a few options. You can set the 24 hour clock or you can go ahead and choose whether you want to show numbers or not. So you can see if you don't want to show numbers, you can choose not to do that. And of course, those will be updated and applied to the home screen widgets. Next is Widget Go. Now with Widget Go, you can add a ton of different widgets to the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Here I have two of them. I have the 2x4, which is a countdown, which you're gonna first go ahead and add from the app. And then here I have a photo that I have set with this frame from the app. Now if you tap on one of the widgets, you just go to the app and right here, we'll be able to customize your widgets and add any widget or create any widget you want. So you will have like different kinds of widgets that you can create using this app. Starting from frame photos, you will have here calendars and days counting. So you will have a few presets here. So if you go here, you can of course edit this and make it your own. And you can go ahead and choose the background of the countdown. You will have here a bunch of different backgrounds or you can choose even your own photo. You can do the same here for the calendar. And of course you can go ahead and create your photos, add them to the home screen on different sizes, of course, using different frames that you will find on this app. TuneIn Radio is the next one for this video. Now, TuneIn Radio is also a big app that has recently been updated with iOS 14 home screen widgets. Now, what you will get here are two different widgets. You will have the smaller one and the medium one. You will see right here your recently played radio, and of course, at the top right there on the bigger widget, you will see four different radios that you have recently played or are suggested for you. Of course, you can tap on either one of them. It will take you directly to that radio and start playing that radio from here. So you just tap on whichever one you want to play and you can go straight to the app, start playing that radio. Widget Notes is the next app for the video. Widget Notes allows you to create any note you want, customize it any way you like, and have it on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So here I have two different sizes from this app. So right there on the medium one, you can see that's a note that I have set, and of course, a custom background, which you can pick from your photo gallery. And right here, I have one that I have just left blank, just to show you guys how you can go ahead and tap right there, 3D Touch, of course, tap on Edit Widget, and from here, you will have the ability to to go to choose and just pick any one of the notes that you have created and of course add them to the widgets that you have currently added to the home screen so you can add a bunch of these widgets from this app and then of course pick on each one whichever note you want to see so you don't have to have the same notes on all the widgets Custom Widget is the next one for the video. Now with Custom Widget, you will be able to create your own custom widgets and place them on the home screen of your device. Of course, you can get these widgets on all different sizes and you can see right here, I have one that I've created with a custom background right there and a smaller one, which was pre-created on the app. 
So if we go to the app, you will see here we have a bunch of different widgets that we can choose from. And of course, then go ahead and edit any one of them. So you tap on edit widget and right here will have all the different sizes. You can take a look at them and you can, of course, go ahead and choose right here all the different options that you can to go ahead and customize these widgets and make them your own. You can add a custom photo here as the background and of course, just create like a bunch of different widgets, which look really really cool of course you will have a preview right there and once you're done just tap on set widget and you're good to go you will have that set as a widget on the home screen now of course you need to go ahead through the touch here go to edit widget and then you will have the option here to go ahead and choose whichever of those widgets you have created you want to see on the home screen of your ios 14 device Next is battery widget. Now with battery widget, you will get a bunch of different details regarding your device, the battery, the brightness, storage, and many more. So here I have two different widgets that I have added from this app. The smaller one, it just shows the current date, of course the clock, and there a bar which indicates the current battery level on my device. We have a medium one at the top which will show you battery storage brightness as well as the current time the date as well. So if you go to the app you will see here we will have a bunch of different widgets that are preset here of course you can choose any one of these or you can just tap the plus button if you want to go ahead and create your own widget. So choose battery or system widget and then of course you can have all the different options to customize these and just basically make Make them any way you like and of course apply them by setting the widget right here. Music widget is an app that will allow you to show your current playing music or your most recent played right on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. It offers two different sizes so here I have the medium one and the bigger one. On the medium one you will see right there you're now playing music while on the bigger one you will see the same the now playing music but you will also see your most recently played, played songs right here so it will have two songs that you have recently played right underneath the now playing on the bigger one so it offers just two two of these sizes of course you connect them with the music app of your iphone and you will get all the music that you have recently played right here on the home screen of your iphone and last but not least is College Smith. Now with College Smith, you will be able to create photo colleges and apply them to the home screen of your iOS 14 device. The way this app works is that it allows you to customize these any way you like. So right here you can see I have the bigger one and the smaller one. If I go ahead and go to the app, you will notice here I will have the option to actually change the layout here, make any way I like here, all the different colleges you can see that you can create with a bunch of different photos, two or more, three, any way you like. And of course, even change the background there. So if we go to background, you can see we can change that color there. And of course, just apply them to the app and then you will be able to add them to the home screen of your device. This is way different than having just one photo with photo colleges. You can have many more photos on one widget. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some of the best iOS 14 home screen widgets that you can get on your iOS 14 device in December 2020. Now, if you guys like one of these widgets and you want to download them to your device, make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links to these widgets right there. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.